Hello, welcome to this video where we're going to be looking at Bitcoin test network. So if you're new to this channel, I suggest probably if you're starting to learn Bitcoin, either buy this book or you can find it online. It's actually available on GitHub. So if you can find GitHub and then type in Master in Bitcoin, you will basically get the entire contents of this book. Make sure you get the second edition. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's look at running the test network on, Bit on the Bitcoin core. So that's not a very good start, is it? So what have we got? We've got a directory. Now we've got to run it from there. No, we don't. Ah, CD bin. Bitcoin Core is probably already running. Uh, so PSAX grep Bitcoin. And you can see it's already running as a process because I had it running. Yes. Ah, no, that's uh, two minutes, seven seconds. I started it up just now. So let's see what we've got. We've got Bitcoin. When you're running it without setting it up with an alias and doing the moving into USR bin, etc., do Bitcoin Core CLI. And there's too few parameters. So then you can see the command there, testnet. Too few parameters. And then get info. Let's do get network info. And there we go. We can see that we have an instance of Bitcoin Core running and we have the test network set up. So how did I do all this? Well, first thing I did was I went to bitcoincore.org and I downloaded this file. So I'm on Linux. If you're on Mac, then it's going to be a DMG maybe. If you're on Windows, probably an EXE. I don't know. So you have to verify the keys, all the instructions. I'm not going to run through it here. I'll do that another day. But I just wanted to kind of give you some inspiration. Run your own test and run your own full node. But also, if you want to do some coding, developing, you can do Bitcoin. You can run the Bitcoin core with a copy of the test. It's not even a copy. You're actually on the test blockchain. Um, and ultimately, you can then get some you can get some test Bitcoin, test sats rather. Get some test sats and then you can do stuff. So yeah, if you want to start creating a transaction, um, get raw transaction and this should find nothing. Uh, yeah, so there you go. And then you have to put in the, it's basically returning nothing because I didn't supply a transaction ID. Note how when you are running the test network, it runs on a different port. So if you've got a firewall or anything running and if you, if you need to access it remotely, you'll need to change it to uh, 18332. Um, Yeah, that said 8332 because oh, uh, the examples are saying, be, yeah, the examples are kind of written as if you're on the main network. So the the basically that's help. That help or well, the example suggestions are saying 8332, but when you're on the test network, test network, it's using 18332. So next in the next video, what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll cover how to actually set up Bitcoin core and run the test network so that you can then look to start creating creating some transactions so quite nicely the there is a chapter on transactions and i jumped straight to that partly because i'm not saying i know everything but chapter two for instance is how bitcoin works so you can just kind of speed through that speed read through that um, so chapter six transactions this is probably backwards, I think, because of my the way I've got OBS set up. So sorry about that. 
But um, what you need to do is then study transactions. And I've already started kind of studying transactions with transaction inputs, transaction outputs. So all this is available on GitHub. Anton Antonopoulos. You'll recognize him when you see him if you've watched any Bitcoin videos. Um, or proper Bitcoin videos rather than just influencers. Um, so yeah, that's kind of an intro. And if... Please leave me some comments. If you'd like me to demonstrate anything specific, then I will do. Otherwise, I'm just going to crack on and I'm going to experiment more with the test network, running more commands on the command line. And ultimately, I might do something with some Python scripts. Also, I've already installed KU. And it's waiting for a next command. So if uh, if you do KU-help, and that's, there we go. So that's all the usage, example usage, BTC. Um, yeah, quick intro video really. If you've got any comments, please please add them because this channel is gonna. I'm gonna aim to make this channel uh, very interactive and create videos based upon what users ask me. And in the meantime, I will just experiment and tinker. But really, I would like comments just with suggestions, questions, and then hopefully we can learn together and really learn Bitcoin rather than just talk about it in in evangelize about it let's actually learn about how it works because ultimately that will pay your bills one day so i think this is an intro to an intro really <laughs> um yeah so this book get yourself a book i always like to have one book buy one book and then you can read it on a train you can just kind of read it when you're going to bed and you don't have to turn on an electronic device and blue screen and make your eyes go funny and all that nonsense so yeah by mastering Bitcoin, install Bitcoin Core, run run it as a test network, or run the test net, and um, yeah, in a future video I'll talk about how I set it up with, and also I'm looking at, um, I'm just about to set up Bitcoin CLI or Bitcoin Core via a shell script. I found a shell script, I'm going to test it check it works and then I will show you it um, <laughs> in the meantime so I just had a electrical saw outside that's a bit random but um, yeah thanks for watching please submit some comments thumbs up and all that usual all that usual uh, YouTube stuff so see you next time